to my channel home sweet home handmade i'm natalie and i'm really thrilled that you have chosen to come and spend some time with me today i'd like to say hello to my new subscribers i've had a few that have um, clicked on the subscribe button since um, i was last with you and also welcome back to my regular viewers um, i'd also at this point just like to say um, a special comment to the hairy crafter um, I know that you made a comment on my last um, episode and for some reason YouTube wouldn't allow me to comment back to you so I didn't want you to think that I was being really rude and ignored your comment which I didn't so thank you so as you can see today it's a different backdrop I've played around with um, where to film from if you can hear background noise and we've got this um, brook beck that's right near the cottage um, so there'll be a bit of water noise because it's quite um, full this time of year we normally we come in July but with Covid going on we decided to put back our, our trip so I'm filming from um, a little fisherman's cottage in Robin Hood's Bay on the North Yorkshire coast Robin Hood's Bay is a little fishing village, or it used to be, um, and it's about seven miles down the coast from Whitby, um, next to North Yorkshire Moors as well. So we're on the main um, road, and I call it a main road, but it's a single track lane down to the harbour. So you may hear some car noises, um, some people walking past and um, some people we had horses earlier um, people take their horses down onto the beach to exercise them when the tide is out um, and there's some renovations going on of some little cottage further up the lane so you may hear some building noises so just um, apologies for that I'll try and put a, either put a photograph in here or at the end of what the little cottage looks like. Um, this is actually, we couldn't believe it, this is our seventh stay here and it's been 10 years since we stayed here and um, we just love it. It is virtually a one up, one down, <laughs> tiny little cottage and these are the stairs here. So, um, so they go up and round and um, yeah, it can be tricky, <laughs> but it's just super, super cute, and we, we love living here. So, so I've brought my stitching along with me this week, and I've done some bits and pieces. Um, en route up to North Yorkshire from Norfolk, um, we stopped in to see um, my sister Emily um, stitching from Gnome Cottage on Instagram and um, she gave me a couple more birthday gifts find them on here um which i thought i would show you now i've got a thing about hearts and she got me this amazing heart and it's from uh james marshall artist blacksmith handmade in the Lincolnshire Wolds and that's his little tag there but it is absolutely gorgeous and um, I've got lots of hearts hanging around in in our in our cottage and Greg my husband has always said no more hearts no more hearts but that is beautiful um, yeah so that will go up and then along with this she gave me some um, threads now I've heard of them before because they're a UK based dyer and they're called Oliver Twists uh, hand dyed in the UK by Jean Oliver and I will put a link um, to the website below because they are absolutely gorgeous. Variegation. They've all got different names, Emily said. They are on Etsy apparently as well. There's 10 meters, six stranded cotton. 
So they've all got numbers on here, but um, on their actual website, they've got colours and they are just gorgeous. Really, really lovely. That was a special treat. So I'll find something really nice to stitch with them. So that was two lovely gifts from Emily. Thank you, Emily. Um, and she also gave me, she passed the stash um, on this pattern. So that's Heartstring Samplery Handprint on My Heart. And she stitched this. Um, I, think, I can't remember if it's, uh, I think it's Classic Colourworks Cherry Cobbler that she's used. But it is absolutely beautiful. Apologies if there's any background noise. Um, so I've got the thread in. Um, I haven't picked my fabric yet. This is, I think, it's going to be a 2021 start. But what I think I'm going to do is, I'm on the back there, I think I'm going to try and find some of that printable cotton fabric. Oh, the horses are going past. Um, been out on the exercise on the beach so I'm gonna find some of that printable cotton fabric and just here I'm gonna put um, I've got the various black and white little photographs of my nan and granddad um, sadly they've passed away now who we were very close to um, and I'm gonna print the photograph on there so, but it says you'll always be with me like a handprint on my heart I just think that's beautiful Emily has done hers um, uh, going up her stairs she's got a little photograph gallery um, of all um, photographs of my grandparents and my, and my brother and my our parents and uh, she's done this to put up there so yeah, so she passed the stash on this. So that was great, great to have that. Um, and I think I showed you this this last time. She made she this seller to make me this great bag. And in here is my Hawkrun Hollow that we're doing together. I'm doing the village of Hawkrun Hollow. And I'm starting on this block here. Emily's doing the year. But I love them all. I really like the um, houses. But uh, judging by how long this is taking me to do. Um, I don't know. I'm not saying never do another one. But um, we're aiming to try and do this within a year because we started on the 9th of September my birthday and we're aiming to get each of ours done um, by my birthday next year. So I brought it along with me on holiday and I have to, I had to bring my magnifier because I'm doing this on um, Spygart Platinum and it says 18 count but to be honest with you this is the smallest 18 count I've ever stitched on to me this is more like a 20 count so this is where I've got so far it's a very small amount I'm just filling in that little stamp as I call it in the corner and I've got my cute little needle minder I love that I've not actually got that design I think it's little house needleworks with sheep so yeah, I am enjoying this. I have to have good light and I have to stitch it through my magnifier. But yeah, so I'm working on that bit at the moment. So yeah. I'm really looking forward to going to that one. I love the, the willow trees. So yeah. So yeah, put a few stitches in that whilst we've been here so 
well, we've been here, we've been out and about. Um, we've been into Whitby a couple of times, which she said is up the coast. Um, we've also been to Pickering and Helmsley, which are um, market towns. Um, we've been to them many times before um, and they're just really cute. Like I said, at the either I've already put a picture of the little house in, um, or I put it at the end. Also at the end, I did a, did a little video of um, Whitby Harbour, so I'll put that in, um, and some shots of Whitby, um, and then also walking around Robin Hood's Bay, which is is a tiny. It sounds huge, but it's a tiny little village, um, with all little cute cottages. Um, so I. Um, took some photos so I'll put a little montage of photos at the end and then the other piece that I've been stitching on while I've been here as we are now in October I mean how how did that happen September for me just went by in an absolute flash and all of a sudden we're in October so this is little dove designs and it's all Hallows Eve love this And this, I got this as a kit. Um, so, so far. And while I've been here, loose thread, I put the spiders in, the cobweb, and the little school there. So I'm going to carry on with this border down here. Um, and then I need to put like creepy in and then I can start that amazing purple house. So yeah, don't know whether I'm going to get this done um, for this Halloween October, but I'll just keep working on it. It's a really cute little design. So that's all Hallows Eve from Little Dove Designs. Um, and I also brought along to stitch on Country Cottage Needleworks September Cottage. I think I showed this on my, um, I think it was my Whip Parade Part 1. And I said I was quite close to a finish. So, I finished it. I decided, I was umming and ahhing about whether to put this top border in or not and I've decided not to because I've got some um, vintage floor, pink floral fabric so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a border of fabric along at the top down the bottom uh, down the side bottom and up the side and then back it with the fabric and so I just wanted to get this piece finished. It's been languishing in my whip pile. Um, and I, I really like it actually. I think it's quite sweet. So this is just stitched on, I think it's 14 count vintage white from my stash. And I didn't use any of the Corfu colours. I just stitched from stash. But I did add I don't know whether you can see it, a little orange for the blackbird's beaks. But I'm going to keep this out all year round because September is my birthday month um, and if I make it into a cushion, um, I'm just going to keep it out all year round. So. And then I actually started a piece while I was here and finished it. So I finished heart in hand uh, curio ladybird I've got a friend who loves ladybirds um, so I thought I would stitch this for her for Christmas that's really cute so I had some pink 14 count Ada from my stash um, yeah, so I just, whilst I've been here, stitch that up. 
So um, I've got one of these hoops that I've talked about before. If you nip back to episode five, where it's like, it says all about the hoops. Um, I've got one of these embroidery hoops that has got Liberty fabric glued onto the side. So I just had this in my stash and I just thought that it would go really cute to show you. And it's all lined up and everything. And I just thought that would be a really, really sweet Christmas gift for her. So next time when I see you, I'll have this fully finished. And I'll put one of those backs on that says Made With Love. And I'll get some pink ribbon. So I want to pass the stash on this. So if you would like this, just make a comment below with the word ladybird. Don't say giveaway, don't say freebie or anything like that. Be 18 and you can live anywhere in the world. I'll post anywhere and I'll pass the stash on this. Also, I like to pass the stash on the September cottage as well because I'm not going to stitch this again. So if you can tell me in the comment if you would like this chart, what your favourite month of the year is and why. And then I will do a random comment picker. So if you put month as the word, tell me what your favourite month is and why and I'll enter you into the drawer. So those are the ones that I've been working on since I've been here. I brought lots of others and didn't get to them, but I'm pleased that I got the ladybird done because that's another little Christmas gift that's out the way. And she will really like that because she loves anything ladybirds. And it was a really quick, cute design and I just stitched all from stash. I'm trying, if possible, not to buy any threads. I say that, I always do. Um, so that's all I've got for you today. Um, sorry, I'm making the camera wiggle a bit. <laughs> and um, it's been lovely to spend some time with you here in Robin Hood's Bay. Um, if this is your first time stopping here, um, I'd really, really love it if you would press the subscribe button. Um, and if you click on the little bell, you'll get the notifications of when I put my next video up. Um, so the next time I film, it'll probably be in two or three weeks when I have got a bit more stitching to show you. Um, and that'll be back from um, North Norfolk, where we come from. Hopefully, and um, we go home tomorrow, um, hopefully it'll be a little bit better than when we left, because when we left the... We had a huge storm and the electricity was knocked off all night. So, um, so yeah. So it's been great to spend time with you today and I'll see you again soon and happy stitching. Bye.